Today, after nearly one entire year, we're finally working on my rabbit truck again. Gonna get it running and then somehow get it driven to my house, which is about five miles from here. Turn around here, don't wanna go too far because I'm afraid something's gonna blow a big leak. guys so if you guys saw my video last year the reason that everything got stalled here was because went for a spin in it and ended up blowing a hose like this here um, it goes down in there uh, between the water pump over to it wise off to the oil cooler and also back there to the heater core and yeah it totally blew it just spraying everywhere and so I just parked it out behind my parents shed which is where why we're here right now and it hasn't moved off the spot since now Today, I came with the hose for it. It's just weird hose here. You can see the one is bigger than the other. And I pulled the one off there and ended up, this one's for a GTI. It's a little bit smaller. I didn't realize that they're actually different sizes. So, um, did not work. And I was like, oh crap, what am I gonna do now? Well, here then, I actually looked at the hose that's on there that I pulled off and it looked fine. It's definitely old, but it looked fine. There's no reason it should be spraying everywhere. So, I looked over all the, all the hoses there, could not find any problems and stuck them back on, put some water in it, and fired it up, which, it's hilarious. This thing has a very bad fuel leak, and somehow the fuel leak disappeared over the last year. It was always really hard to start this because you had to get it primed. I told my dad just to crank the car to see if we get the water pump going enough to get a little bit of pressure in there to find out which hose is leaking, and he didn't even use the glow pugs, and it fired right up, which, <laughs> can't believe what the chances of that. So let it run a little bit, did not find any leaks, both the diesel leak at the pump there and the coolant leak have somehow disappeared. It's dripping very slow. What I'm thinking is going on is it's the lower rad hose, which it's not getting pressure to right now because I think it's stopping it at the thermostat. So what we're gonna do now, I'm just gonna go a very short drive here, get a little bit of heat in it, and I think it'll become obvious what our problem is. a year back on the road feeling good guys good old turbo diesel Ooh, little turb ski noises we'll turn around here don't want to go too far because i'm afraid something's gonna blow a big leak hopefully don't do it in this guy's driveway <laughs> I 
That's what's up, guys. Here you go. Can I end it? My foot's getting hot. It's down there. Oh, there's still smoke back there. <laughs> there's smoke <laughs> on the rear of your side. Man, rolls cool pretty good. Yeah! Now we'll find out if it's peeing everywhere. Oh, I forgot. Turn signal only works to the left. guys so found the problem it's the lower radiator hose found a tiny hole in it so i'm not sure apparently i got the wrong hose it's been almost a year like i said so apparently i got confused or forgot so whatever happened um we're gonna run to advance now and see if they can get one for tomorrow night so catch you guys then hopefully drive the car home tomorrow Alrighty, guys so it's the following night it's getting dark out here so we gotta rush um got a new lower radiator hose on here not very impressed advance said they have a direct fit and i had to hack this thing up and it's not fitting all that great but hey it's fine got it running now uh we have no leaks um gonna try and hurry because i have no tail lights the brake lights do work turn signals everything else but gonna hurry here it's mostly country driving it's only like five miles so that'll be fine but yeah so we'll get rolling here hopefully we'll make it home fine guys so we're on our way here um i feel like it's totally black so you guys probably can't see anything but hey we're on our way my dad's following me just to be safe here so they don't have tail lights and because i'm a little bit worried it might overheat so got some water along hey we'll see how it goes so i know it's dark so i'll catch you guys at home Alrighty, guys so the rabbit truck is here um it was it was a very interesting drive my dad followed for about two miles or so um just to make sure everything was good pulled over there and my wife came down and met us there um, and yeah, we, no leaks, um, coolant temp was staying perfectly right about the middle, which I didn't hear the fans come on at all. I don't think they were running. So that wasn't cool, but Hey, I was a little bit worried about overheating. So that's why I got a bucket in the back here full of water, but didn't have to use it. So that was nice. Um, so yeah, I thought we had no taillights, which we had turn signals and brake lights or else I would not have driven it. But, um, apparently they told me about 90% of the time the taillights did work and the most crazy thing is that the headlights um, were not working part of the time. About every, I don't know, half a mile or so, they would go out and have to bang on the dash till they come back on. So that was a little bit interesting, but really excited to have it here. Um, it's dark and I'm sure this video is not very quali high quality. So I mentioned I'll talk more about um, what we're gonna do with the truck. And so maybe we'll say that for next video, but guys, we're gonna do like everything on this truck, like make it awesome that I want this to be something that I love driving. It's so fun, but that um, I don't have a truck, so it's really nice having something with a bed. Um, so that's super cool. And just something to rip around with. And I don't know about daily drive, but probably a lot of the time I end up driving it. So that's kind of the goal with it. Um, hopefully one of these days here, I'm um, going to put it on the lift. And then, yeah, once we figure out exactly how bad this thing really is, um, probably one of these next videos, I want to show you guys kind of everything on it and tell you guys the plans, which if you haven't seen them, check out the first videos of this. Um, yeah, it's been, I guess that was in 2019 when I lived in Colorado and I bought it. Just some fun videos there. Drove from Colorado to Kansas to buy it. That was a lot of fun. And I made another video there in the mountains of Colorado, just kind of going over it and driving around, making rolling cool and having fun. So check out those videos if you haven't seen them. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hit that thumbs up if you guys are excited. For some more rolling cool and um just having fun doing this whole build because guys it's gonna get real so catch you guys next time and we'll go over some more and have some more fun with this thing peace